Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 659. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, after recording and uploading over a thousand how to Excel videos, I finally have a book called Slain Excel Dragons. It's not out yet, but it will be out in about a month. Go check it out at Amazon. You can see it already there and uh, pre order it at a big discount. Hey, we got a great video here, 659. We are, um, let's just say we're an auditor or something like that. And we need to, we have a huge data set of transactions. Here's the transaction, the date, the sales. We need to extract for a sample every 30th record. All right, so how we're going to do this is we're going to use advanced filter. We're going to use a special type of advanced filter that uses a formula. Now usually here's the field names, here's the records, and advanced filter you copy the field names, you paste them, and then you put the criteria below. And then the advanced filter looks at the data set and the criteria and extracts. But there's um, an interesting use. Instead of a field name you leave it blank and then you put a true false formula. That true false formula will be as if it's stored in memory and then the trues and false that it could generate it if it was copied down a column. So let's see how to do this. First we gotta figure out how to get a true or false every time we have a 30th record, right? The, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the mod function. Just in brief equals mod. If you take um, mod of 3 comma 2, remember fourth grade division, 3 divided by 2. Well, it's 1 remainder 1. And so mod delivers the remainder. So what we're going to do is we're going to take mod and as if we're going to copy it down the column and ask it to um, divide 1 by 30, 2 by 30, 3 by 30. Only when it gets to the 30th record, what's 30 divided by 30? The remainder is 0. And then we'll say we'll extract that. And then when it gets down to the 60th one, what's 60 divided by 30? It, the remain, it's 2, remainder 0. So the 0 is the remainder. So we're going to construct a true-false formula with the mod that will always get the remainder, but then we're interested only in the zero ones. Now how in the world are we going to get, um, I'm going to do this two ways. The first way is I'm just going to use the number that's here, because this is the transaction number, but then I'm going to show you a different formula, because sometimes you don't have uh, this column here. I'm going to type a comma, and the divisor is going to be what? Simply this. And I'm going to lock this one to go down. Now. <clears throat> We could even copy this. I'm going to enter this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you explicitly what this does. Because it, this would be stored up here, but it's as if it's copied down. Right now, we could double click and send this down, and you can see we get, uh, oh, there's our zero. So, what happens since we need a true and false? We could say that is equal to zero. And now we've converted it to explicitly true and false, and we get a true every time the 30th record. True every time it's the 30th record. So that formula, this is the formula that's copied down. And we actually could use advanced filter on this, but we don't want, we don't want this. So I'm going to copy this, Control Shift Down Arrow and Delete. I'm going to come up here. Delete and then Control V. That you can see that formula up there. It is very important that that cell is the first one in the data set because in memory it'll copy it down. Let's do it. One cell selected inside the data set and then data. Uh, this is fil sort and filter group and then that's the advanced filter. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt A. Whoops. Alt A Q. I do advanced filter a lot so I know that keyboard shortcut. Now it's going to ask us a few questions. Did it get the data set right? Yes, it did. A12 to C10011 is correct. It's a big data set. Copy to another location. That's correct. The criteria, very important that that's blank and then that's a true false formula with the cell references pointing to the whatever the top uh, cell reference is copy to. I'm going to click right there and then click OK. 
And just like that, we get our data extract for our sample. In, in auditing, you, you do samples because you can't check all the records, right? So uh, this is one way to take a, a sample. So there you have your uh, records that you could then analyze down to whatever row that is. Oh, control down arrow. All right, control home. All right, so we saw how to do uh, advanced filter with a true false formula. We'll see you next. Oh, no, we won't see you next trick. I want to show you one more thing. I almost forgot. Instead of lo lots of times you don't have this column. Now, it's easy enough to add it. But again, if, if you can get in, if you know how to simulate one, two, three in a formula, you can um, use that. And the alternative would be to uh, do rows. And I'm going to pretend like it's here now because this column's not there colon, and then adds the second B13, and then uh, close parentheses. And then we need to lock this one going down. I'm going to hit the F4 key. This is a this formula element right here increments number. As you copy it down, it builds 1, 2, 3, 4 in the formula. And that's because this cell's locked, and that's not expandable range. And then it counts the rows as it copies down. Now let's try this. I'm going to click Control Shift Down Arrow, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt EAA. That removes everything. That's the same as going to Home, This, Clear All. Now I'm going to highlight this set, uh, that uh, data set, Control Asterisk, and then Alt EAA. I want to show you something. Last time we did a an advanced filter, and every time you do an advanced filter, it remembers those locations, the data set, and this. And the way it does it is with a name. I'm going to use Control F3. I'm going to click on Extract and click Delete. Criteria and click Delete. <clears throat> and then I'm going to click Close. Now I'm going to start over. Alt A Q. It still remembered. Um, it didn't remember everything. How did it? There must be something in this column. Control down arrow. No, there's not. Control home. I don't know why it did that. Alt A Q. Anyway, that's wrong, so we have to highlight and correct it. Control Shift down arrow. Bring my cursor back up. The criteria range is going to be this right here. Copy to another location. I'm going to click Copy. I'm going to click right here. Now remember, we um, this formula right here is not looking at 1, 2, 3 in a column. It's actually building those numbers itself. So we'll see if this works. I click OK. And sure enough, that one works also. So you get your uh, every 30th record. All right, to advance filter with a true-false formula for criteria. We'll see you next trick.